Hello, YouTube. So, okay, so a lot of people watched my last vlog, so, and nobody really said if they wanted me to do another. So here's another! Yeah, I didn't get any response. So, again, if you guys want me to keep on talking about this, then just let me know, or if you don't, um, then I can find something else to talk about, and it probably won't be hard. Um, but in this episode, not much happened. But this is the second part of the pilot, and pretty much back in, while training with Tron, Decides, well, I'll just leave because I failed once. Two victories and then one training failure, and then and I'll just leave. He lost, he pretty much lost all his confidence after that. Like, well, I need some time off. So we go, so he's going back to his job, but then he's caught after curfew. Makes me wonder why was he going to his job in the first place if it was after curfew why was he doing that? that that's never explained it's just going after curfew so now he so now he while well, trying to run away from all Tesla some of Tesla's men he ends up in one of the ships taking people to the game which is sort of like Kessler's punishment on Tron or the run in the Renegade because until he turns himself in, then he's just going to keep on sending more and more programs to the game. Kind of a good strategy, but doesn't really seem to affect him. So it's clearly not working and you're just losing all these programs and I'm pretty sure you're losing a lot of people who have their faith in you, but good plan, I guess? So, Beck is now entered in the games, and this super well-programmed grid somehow doesn't notice that there's one extra guy in this group of people who are taken into the games. They somehow don't notice that. But he's teamed up with this one guy who doesn't want to die, Spoiler, he dies because he didn't want to die. So oh, we knew so much about him. But we knew so much about him, so it makes it so sad. Like how he didn't want to die. Or how he was a bad fighter. We should be on the motion for him. So now Beck is losing his confidence even in the game, but after talking to a veteran program who he discovers came to Argon just because of the Renegade and he wanted to team up with them, he decides, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't give up on my very first try. So now he, so they try to escape, but they're caught and are now taken into the, and now we're taken into the motor, the life cycle part of the game, I guess. Where they gotta fight three guys on life cycles. But they're handcuffed together and they don't have life cycles. Sounds like a fair fight to me. Yeah, handcuff the guys together, do not give them life cycles, have them outnumbered by one guy, and have some of the most Skill guys on your on your side fighting them, but totally fair. But somehow they win. Like really, these are just this is just the highest am amount of luck here that they even won. But eh, they won, so now what do they have to do? Fight each other. And if they don't, then they don't leave? But what if they just stand there and fight? People will eventually, and don't fight, then people will eventually just get bored. 
and just just say, eh, just end it. I mean, why couldn't they just do that? I don't know. Oh, and all the while in the story, what's going on with Zed and um, Mara? The amazing plot of them going to a club, Zed getting drunk, I think. Okay. And having him leave with some girl and go back to the garage because there's really no place else to go. And they're out after curfew. Why is no one getting them? Really? Did curfew just have like 12 seconds? What happened to curfew? And they just decide to go into the garage because there's nothing fun to do. And a, one of Abel's favorite light cycles gets stolen by this girl. Truly, this was so unforeseen. No one could ever guess that when they went to the garage on permission that a light cycle would get stolen. How would anyone know that? But, yeah, it's stolen and that's it. That's pretty much it for this episode. Like I said, not much happens here. Aside from introducing us to a pretty cool veteran character, and you do actually, I do kind of like this guy. He does seem to carry this this amount of dignity to him that really does show, but we don't really know much about him, and even though I do think that he does come back, I don't know, it's been a while, but he just doesn't really seem like I remember him that much, aside from, oh yeah, he was that guy. Thank God he's back. And Beck doesn't really learn anything in this episode, aside from what he learned in the last episode. And keep in mind, this is a two-parter episode. So in these two parts, he learned the exact same thing throughout them. Nothing weird there. And... And we learn that Zed's an idiot? And that he has a thing for Mara, I guess, but that was kind of already shown in the previous episode, so it doesn't make any sense why they're rehashing it here. And... Abel is still pretty cool in this episode. Tron, we don't really see that much of, seeing as he's only there for... well, the opening scene. And... not... And Tuffler doesn't do anything. Paige makes like one appearance. And the annoying guy who I don't care to remember his name who works with Tuffler is there at the very end. Thank God. So yeah, not much happens in this one. But hey, maybe the next episode will be amazing. Who knows? completely plausible. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.